Yeah, this your boy Sleeper Slump King, rocking out with your girl Notice and Push to Play. What up? Tell me about the song we're about to go over. Well, the song is called Gone for Good. It's kind of like an old, not really a love song. It's basically like a generalization for the ending of relationships like that. That little feeling of regret where you don't, you ain't ready for that person to be gone. But um, throughout the song, you start to realize you ain't got time for the game. So you kind of like just closing out that chapter. I got you. You want me to perform the song? Baby, don't be gone for good. I know I crossed, I crossed the line. I misunderstood. Like I lost my, I lost my mind. Maybe, maybe I should. should. Yeah, man, call the line. I know my pride won't let me. Think about you all the time. Baby, don't be gone for good. I know I crossed the line. I've been misunderstood. Feeling like I lost my mind. Thinking maybe I should. Give in and call the line. Even though my pride won't let me. Think about you all the time. Yeah. Ain't nobody's perfect. Okay, give me the first couple bars. Well, it start off where I say, like, nobody's perfect. And we all gotta make our mistakes. Yeah, but you win when you learn from what you did wrong. That's how you elevate. You know, that's like how you start off when you admit and you're wrong. You know, most person lets you know you ain't perfect. You know, I'm not perfect. Everybody make mistakes. But I'm learning from it. Keep going. Flow with me. I said, so we all gotta grow now, we all born to die, man, we all gotta live, yeah. And my mom always told me to never forget, but to always forgive. I mean, it pretty much explains itself. Okay. Keep going? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so how can you forget about me? And why you acting like you gon' leave? It got me acting like I don't need your love, no love, but I keep. Smelling your scent in my sheets and seeing your pretty face in my dreams. When I sleep, if I can, but it seems, I'm a man with no queen. You feel me? And then I flip it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So how'd you get to know Queen? I'm a man with no Queen because I just broke up with my girl. Okay, so wait a minute. So what happened that made you write that? <laughs> oh, shit. Actually, I was like going through a breakup when I was just writing it, but to keep it all the way real, I mean, shit, I wasn't really in love with her that much to... Okay, to keep it all the way real, like the song wasn't basically about her. It was more or less the experience of it, you know, so... You know, a bit of creative writing, I was able to tap into that experience. You know, I like rea writing reality rap. Okay, so come on, let me see more hours. Let me see, uh, I start off with the second verse, it's just kind of like reminiscing. You know, so I start off with a compliment, like, I feel like you have a sin looking so elegantly, it ain't nothing like being in love. I treat it like edibles, eat an incredible legal, you know how I be when we touch. I wanted to say fuck, but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get this on the radio. <laughs> you know how I be when we freaking not eating, keep beating them, plus I get deep in them guts. Thought I was cheating, I might have that these be the reason you're leaving the single as fuck. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You feel me? We're feeling that. We're feeling that. Alright, now here go the games. It's like keeping in touch. Like, hold on. Alright, it's like keeping in touch. I know you got a need for that. You want to take your love away, then bring it back. You want to keep them playing games, we can keep it at. Where you at right now? What you think of that? Uh, baby, cause I ain't got time for games. Said I was sorry once I can't apologize the same. I hope your mind to change. It's the time it changes for the better. You and I remain. Cheer. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so fine. what? That's so fine. what? So tell me what, what are you saying? What is he saying? For the, it's for the ignorant. What was that about? <laughs> what was for that? What was you know, that about? Well, pretty much, you know, I had to let her know, you know. Of course, I don't date no ugly bride, so. She looked right. good. You feel me? <laughs> true, true. That. I don't date no ugly women. You know, so she was beautiful. Of course, I had to let her know. And then I had to let her know what she was missing. By telling her the things we did. Okay. Then, also, with you playing games, hey, I'm getting tired of it. I had some patience. I tried apologizing and all that stuff. But because you know that, you want to take advantage of that opportunity. So now you can just stay right where you at. You know, something like that. <laughs> okay, come on. Right. And, um, should I just go back to the third verse now? Yeah. Okay. So then the third verse, you know, on that spin, I kind of took a more like, that's more of my truth, you know, because that's kind of like where I'm speaking more first person, you know. So I come off like, I'm going to always say the truth of my music because I'm a villain. Ain't got to be no sucker for love to catch feelings. But I don't caught an arrow from Cupid. I couldn't dodge a shot right in the heart. I was being on my dog shit. 
Feel like I've never been hit before. They say karma's a bitch, she more wicked though. Different day, different dollar, a different hoe. You the reason my heart is so frigid cold. You know, so it's like a... No, we don't stop at that villains. Let's, 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 let's speak on that villains. I'm a villain. Let's go there. Alright, well, I come from the legendary group, the villains. You know, legendary. Let's talk about one of the OGs. Sleep. So I'm gonna always say the truth of my music because I'm a villain. Real MC. You know, villains of Youngstown, right? Yeah, Villains How long has Villains been around? Villains been around like the last 25 years. Mm -hmm. You know, but we've been all the way around. You know, in the Brooklyn, all that. Okay. Especially Brooklyn. <laughs> and then you go Karma, so let's get let's get it. Get one of the two of okay, with that third so like verse. Okay, so I'm Ain't gotta be no sucker for love to catch feelings, you know. I mean, I, even real niggas fall in love, right? Real niggas, yeah. Okay. You feel me? But I feel like a real man can admit that he in love. You feel me? Real talk. But that don't make you a sucker for love. You know? I got one song where I say sucker for love or in love. Tell me which is worse. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But truth is, I caught an arrow from Cupid. I couldn't dodge it. You know what I'm saying? Shot right in the heart. I was being on my dog shit. Like, damn. When I realized I had feelings, it was right when I was in the middle of my bullshit. So it felt like I never been hit before. They say karma's a bitch. She more wicked though. Karma's a bitch. She's more wicked though. She's worse than a bitch. Woo. You know. So now it's on to the next. It's like different day, different dollar, a different hoe. You the reason my heart is so frigid cold. You know. It's like to get over her. I had to kind of put my mind state on that. You know. It was difficult. I was going through. Must admit it. I was so in love with you. Had me feeling like I don't know what to do. Got enough someone else to get over you. You feel me? Guiding it. Someone else. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you got to. You got to get into it. I like that sometimes. Right. You got, to, you got to. You know, but again, in first person, you know, now I'm more in self-thought. So I'm like, what a remedy. What got into me? Had to realize I was the enemy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, looking at me. Looking into me. Had to realize I was the en enemy. I myself, I swear, it almost finished me. Learned a lesson. Now I see it differently. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just because I tried to use somebody else to get over you, you know, I had to come back to my senses because it's kind of like the rebound person was just a shallow move on my behalf, you know. So rebound I, you know, never I, gets you. Never, never, you never stay with the rebound. Right. You know, I had to realize I was really just cheating myself. You know what I'm saying? So by that self-realization, I better myself through that. That's how I summed it up. Okay, so you're going to be doing a video on this song very soon. What, what show looks for this video? Well, my looks is pretty much just going to be... I mean, it's very important that uh, a down-to-earth look. I just like that vibe. That's me, number one. I'm going to try to blend it with some type of sexiness. I don't know. I feel like I dress sexy anyways in my own little street vibe. Yeah, that's going to be it. You know, the settings is pretty much going to be, can I spill the beans or just let them see it? Yeah. You know, it's going to be like, you know, a house party thing as if, you know, because the song is kind of like a party vibe, you know. Also, in that party... I'm hallucinating that this girl that I'm, you know, proclaim, you know, singing to or rapping to is in there. When I'm really hallucinating her, that's just a projection of she's in my thoughts. I'm thinking about her. So I'm chasing her through the video, thinking it's her. And as I walk up to her, it's not her. It's a different person because it's like because I'm so lovesick because of the breakup kind of has my mind going in a spin like that. And anybody, you know, they go through any type of turmoil. It's only so long you're going to stand in dog shit. Right? You don't right. get up you don't get up True. out of it. True. So that's kinda like, you know, gonna be our own little creative spin on that, you know. Okay. Invite your people out. Invite my people out. Like, well, my homegirl noticed, you know, I'm giving her, you know, most of the credit. You know, it's it's like it's really her vision. She listened to the song and it's what she saw. To me, I already knew that. It's like I felt that, you know, so I knew I could trust to tell her just to listen to it. And then tell me what you saw when she told me the house party idea and how she started. It kind of like really made me like, yeah, that's what's up. Because if you would have gave it to just me, it would have been very plain. You know, it's kind of like, well, do I go? Sometimes I might overthink it. Like, no, that might be cheesy because I think that. But then when somebody else tells it, it puts me on the outside looking in, which I can see. And I'm like, oh, OK, that'll work. And that's kind of how it works, if that makes sense.